Okay, hey guys, welcome to Tracy Momi Reads. This video is just a quick video to show you my um, the space where I record the videos as well as where all my books are housed and where I read at. So, okay, so first we're gonna go over here to the corner. This is a little table. I actually got this from Walmart and, and you know, Put it together myself it was really quick and easy to put together it's just a little side table to hold a few things we got a lamp the echo there one of my favorite scented cam uh, candles from bath and body works these are actually coasters how cool is this it's like a little coaster set typewriter I'm waiting for an art print for that frame but in the meantime look at this those are my babies when they were babies. I thought this was appropriate to have in the space uh, since it's a picture of my son reading a book to my daughter. Because this room is off of the front of the house, it gets a lot of light because of the windows that are there. We also have two comfy chairs with an ottoman there in the middle. So, you know, if you're sitting there reading, you can prop your feet up. Now, I'm going to pan out so you can see the, the bookshelf. This actually came from Ikea. It's a part of their Billy bookcase series. And I will tell you, it, there was drama. Like one of the, uh, the uh, panels got broken on one by the delivery guy. It took forever to get them in. And this is actually four different pieces. But um, right here, this is like a piece of molding that my husband put on there. And this was already painted. He got it from Lowe's. He put like, like five different pieces to make it all look seamless, like one, you know, big install piece. And they are anchored to the, to, to the ceiling. So we're going to start, I guess, down here at the bottom. And when we first moved into the house, you know, I'm trying to be fancy. I took some of my books and I took the dust jackets off of them. And now I don't know where the dust jackets are. They probably got thrown away. These are some classics. You see Waiting to Exhale down there um, by Terry McMillan. Child of God, Lolita Files. That is such an amazing book. Oh my God, it still remains one of my all-time faves. Victor McLaughlin, that was a, a author back when I was in the book club in the 90s. He's one of the few authors that we could get to come to almost all of our events because I think at the time he may have been living in Dallas and we were in Houston. But yeah, so it's just, who else is that? Um, Kim Louise, Bernice Berry, and of course some a poetry book by Ni uh, Nikki Giovanni. That's one of the few dust jackets I could find. Moving up here. I was going to do something cool and artistic with my books, but <laughs> they're just sitting here. These are all my actual books that I've written, and I have them like covered with some fancy paper trying to tie in the color to the whole theme in here with the blues. I love that quote. A room without books is like a body without a soul. And then that's just a, a book that I put together for my 50th birthday. Just it has photos and just little snippets and anecdotes inside of it. It's a little tic-tac-toe game. So if you're in here, you should be in here reading, but if you want to take a break from reading, there's a... a this is a nice little set. I got this actually from uh, Hobby Lobby, this acrylic tic-tac-toe set. I want to move away from the bookshelf for a minute. A couple of summers ago, my kids and I were doing these uh, paintings on canvas. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do a whole series of owls. And my series ended up with two owls. But they made their way into the into the little reading room here. My little, This is a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the curtain rod. I gotta get some curtains for this room as well. Probably just a couple of panels. And yes, that's what you think it is. I was sucked into the twilight world for a, a minute. That's all I gotta say about that. Um, this particular print I got off of uh, Etsy. It came from an Etsy shop. I cannot remember the name. I had this little jar sitting around upstairs and it just had tacks and stuff in it so i am using it now to hold all of my uh bookmarks so i thought that would be a cute addition okay and so this little um that's a calendar thing that i got from burlington i should have got a flip calendar because that thing i'm surprised that i got the right date today is the 13th i don't know when i'm going to post this 
but usually the date is wrong on there because you got to take the whole thing down, take all the squares out, flip them around. It's really not user friendly at all, but it's cute. Okay, so up there at the top, all those book covers that are framed, those are my books, and I will be doing a uh, video one day in the near future talking about my own books, but you know, you can learn more at my, on my website, tracymomi.com. Yeah, and the mo the this go around I decided to do like, you know, color coordinate all the books because I just like the aesthetics, the way that it looks. I mean, who knows? I may change that at some point. I would say maybe on each shelf there may be like two or three books that I haven't actually read, but I've read the majority of the books that are in here. Um, there are a lot of classics in here from my time when I was in uh, a book club. Like you'll see Lolita Files and Virginia DeBerry and Donna Grant. They don't even write anymore. Those are some really popular uh, authors back in the 90s. You got Tina McElroy Ansa. Um, I think I have a B.B. Moore Campbell over here. Yeah, Kimberla Lawson Roby. I think she's still writing. And then, of course, you know, rest in peace to Eric Jerome Dickey. I have a lot of his books. Unlike this one, Liar's Game, I actually got this one. Um, I went to see him. I, I think him and Pearl Cleage were at the Shrine of the Black Madonna here in Houston. And I've gotten an autograph. I have several autograph books up here. So even though they're decades old, I mean, they a lot of the books, I'm sorry, I'm like all over the place trying to put this book back. But a lot of these books, they like have sentimental value for me. So I probably won't be getting rid of them anytime soon. But often if I read books and I'm like, okay, that was just okay. Or I know I'm not going to reread it. Or I haven't, you know, marked it up. Um, I'll donate the books to the library, but I'll probably be doing some giveaways on my channel because there are books that I did not finish. I just could not finish A Brief History of Seven Killings. Uh, the Patois, I think that's how you pronounce it. You know, the Jamaican slang. Oh my God, I could barely understand it reading it. So I just was not able to put a lot of it into context. And I so wanted to like that book and read it, but I just, I couldn't. I'm going to have to wait. If there's going to be a movie, maybe I can, <laughs> I'll read that. I mean, not read that, but watch that. I have a pretty eclectic, you know, collection of books. I have some, you know, suspense books. I have romance books, books by white authors, black authors. Um, I have some self-help books, you know, coffee table books here. These are some of my favorite books. Uh, down here, but yeah, I I just really like feel-good type books or books that are gonna be entertaining I don't really like a lot of heavy subject matter and I totally I know there are a lot of popular books out there that deal with race and You know fiction books especially, you know, that have that racism or something that's a plot mechanism and I just cannot I cannot read books about you know, a black man reaching for his wallet and being killed because that that's just too real. That's just too close to reality. So I tend to stay away from those books personally. Of course, you got some classic Toni Morrison over here, Song of Solomon. Um, I was trying to see, you know, the only downfall I will say about putting books uh, in color order as opposed to um, alphabetical or, or author or anything sometimes it's hard to find things but because i'm so i have such an intimate knowledge of what's on my shelf i know the colors of books i'm like that was a red book that was a black book one of my favorite books and i'll probably be doing a um a post one day or a video about some of my like top five favorite books but wake of the wind by j california cooper is one of my favorite books um this candle let me go back to this candle i'll do some of the elements now that i have on the shelf this candle, like, legit smells like leather and, like, paper. I mean, it's so weird that it smells like a library. I have never, it hasn't been lit, probably won't be, because, I mean, it's not an appealing smell to, like, have in the house. You know, like, I'm, like, looking for more citrus or linen or fresh when I light candles. But I just like the idea of this candle. Um, at the top there, you got the... R-E-A-D, read letters. Um, I don't know if I'll ever paint those. Somebody suggested I paint them, but I don't know. What I do want to do is at some point get some epoxy or something for these holes. But when you're standing back, you can't even really, you can't, you can't see them. So it's not like a big deal. I got this off of Amazon. Yeah, I bought this from Amazon. It's kind of heavy too. It's like a um, metal sculpture of someone reading. So I thought that was, uh, you know, pretty cool element to add. 
Got this from Hobby Lobby. It's a light bulb, but this top comes off, so you could put pins in there or put coins or something. So I just like the idea of a light bulb because idea, you know, it's like when you get ideas. Being a writer, being inspired by other writers is, um, you know, when I read, a lot of times I'm inspired by other writers. Uh, let's see what else we got here. This particular print, I decided to frame. It actually came out of a book that I was reading. <laughs> so yeah, I committed a sin by tearing a page out of a book, but that's just too beautiful to have, you know, stuck in a page of a book on a shelf. Um, I got this from a home superstore called At Home, and she's watching over all my books, making sure people put stuff back where it goes. <laughs> and then down here, that's actually a pillow cover that I got from, I think I got that off an Etsy shop or Instagram. I mean, I've had it for a long time, so I don't really remember, but I like the playfulness of the polka dots and of course, just read these postcards oh my goodness i got these from barnes and noble years ago and i think they were like two for a dollar four for a dollar they have all these black icons you know like eartha kid and miles davis the supremes louis armstrong um i have a few more that i actually it's dirt on the bottom that's embarrassing but um, <laughs> i have a few more that i can't find but that was a steal and i, I love adding that element in here as well I uh, got a couple of bookends there with the and and ampers and the at sign and the and sign ampersand. Those books, those books belong to my son because I personally never, I've never read any of the Harry Potter books. I know that's probably a reading sin or something, but I just could not get into them. It's just too much stuff to keep up with. Too many characters, too many worlds. So yeah, I couldn't do the wizard thing. I've watched a few of the movies and, you know, I enjoyed them, but I just couldn't get into the books. Got a reminder here to just be yourself. Love that little quote. But yeah, um... Like I said, I have all kinds of books here um, that I've read, you know, stuff that I've gotten. This huge book here, this was actually a pretty good book. It's like about these kids that are superheroes. I got that book for a dollar at the dollar store. So, you know, sometimes you can find deals and steals at like thrift uh, stores and dollar stores. So, yeah, the majority of my books that aren't like classics that I haven't had, that I've had for a while, I've either gotten from thrift books or Amazon when they've had sales or something like that. Uh, because they can, books can be pricey. So, you know, I get them, you know, a lot of times after I've read recommendations or something. I'm not one of these people that go out and buy books the first time they come out because everybody's talking about them. I mean, you'd go broke doing that. But yeah, so this is, that's just, you know, a tour of my reading room, my bookshelf, and the things that I have on there. As you can see, there's some empty shelves, and I can always, you know, switch the books around, so it leaves a lot of room to add more books. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video, comment, and subscribe, and tell a friend.